Madam President, permission to read a respondent story from my Crime in Alaska survey? Permission granted. I am a guardian for an 89-year-old woman. I have placed her in an assisted living home due to the rising crime in her neighborhood, as well as due to her diminished abilities. Her trailer has remained empty while I petitioned for a long-term Medicaid waiver for her. I did not want to sell her home if there was any chance that she would be denied her waiver. Three months ago, I, I caught two drug addicts red-handed in her trailer. They had broken, entered, and many items were stolen, as well, well as drug paraphernalia left lying around. Pictures were taken of both, both of the perpetrators, and the police were called. The perpetrators ran off in two different directions. The police picked up the female as she was about to enter a taxi. The male was not located. The female was issued a trespass despite the citizen arrest form and charges I provided to the APD. I had to call City Hall to get a case number. I arrived at court at 9 a.m. on the day of the female's court hearing, armed with the statement I gave the APD and pictures of both perpetrators and damages. I further shared with the prosecutor that the male was featured on the local evening news the week before his hearing for an armed robbery invasion in Eagle River. The prosecutor informed me before the female did not even show up to court that the prosecutor's office had declined to prosecute. I asked why the case was still on the docket then as I had to drive in from my house in the valley into the Anchorage court, uh, courthouse. The prosecutor could not give me a reason why, neither could the prosecutor's office, which I went to directly after leaving court. Another month has passed without a single word. Is the message from SB 91 in Juno being sent to criminals, do whatever you want, we don't care? Can you imagine what would have happened if my frail old friend had been home when these animals broke in? In all honesty, God must have been watching over them, for that was one of the days that I was not armed. Madam President, uh, supporting the crime bills is a must to reverse the epidemic and to protect Alaskans' most vulnerable population. Thank you.